Hi everybody, it's me again, and I am back to share with you what's up in my shop, sort of. Not really up in my shop, but what's going on. Um, I decided not to call my craft room an actual craft room, but more of a shop. Because pretty much everything in here um, I use for my shop. So um, this is what's going on in the shop. And I finally received my rings that I had purchased through Ali. But I was quite disappointed that it's not the size that I thought it was going to be. But I'm okay with it. I passed that point of anger. <laughs> but yesterday I got my mail and it took, first off, a really long time. But that was because I ordered these when um, they were celebrating the Chinese New Year. And it took an eternity because at that time they just didn't ship anything out until afterwards. And they celebrated for about a month or more. So, what is that? Um, yeah, so it took a while and finally it got here and it wasn't really what I thought it was supposed to be. Um, I was expecting smaller rings, um, the agenda size rings, which on my little Respeco thing, it's supposed to be a six um, and they're just slightly longer than the pocket size rings that I have here which this is my the one that I put in my bag to go so it should be you know a little taller and I was expecting that in the gold I did not get that size what I did get is a standard personal ring belt and I actually thought that it might be um, an A5 on here it says A5 personal and then compact but um, as I go online to look at sizes, it gets complicated. All the sizes of planners is really complicated, but it is um, the inserts that I made to go with this are standard personal size for the rings, which is 3.75 by 6.75 inches. On the setting here, you would put your settings to the A5 personal compact slimline planner. Um, and you would pull out the little thing here, the extender, just one notch. So um, you can punch them out right. But I came to terms with this. I decided not to um, complain and try to get my money back or anything. I'm going to keep these because I, I did order nine. One for me and the rest for um, making more planners for the shop. And I mean, eventually I was going to do this size anyway, so I figured, well, I might as well just keep them. And I do like the gold, and it's a nice wide ring. Um, and they did come with the screws that go with this, so very easy to attach. And I think I have a bit of a tutorial on that. Um, these are brass, though, but you can't really tell once you put this together, and I'll show you in the planner that I made. So I did like my prototype, which is going to be my planner. I always like to test it out first, make one for me, play with it, make sure it's what I'm, you know, I'm happy with as far as making more to sell. So anyway, um, I will link it below, but just know that the sizes that they put I don't think are accurate. And if you pick the same one, this is what you're going to get. And the length of it... Um, it's about four inches maybe yeah it's about four inches in length so you know do your research and then yeah okay so and they were on sale when I got them actually I guess it was a good price for this size um, so like I said I wanted to try it out and the easiest way for me to do that was just to use a clear um, vinyl because there's less work involved it's just cutting and then making the holes and I try to make um, a I gotta do a new one I'd like a template for it and um, what I did was I cut an eight and a half by eleven sheet of cardstock and I used the full eleven inches and then cut down to seven and a half so that's my height and then just I folded it in half to get my middle so that I can do my holes according to the rings which I just placed down and then made you know holes or marked it so this size actually works pretty well um, I did use oversized tabs so they kind of hang out a little bit um, so yeah so that's the size that I came up with for this size rings and inserts I do currently have 
the standard personal um, insert mega kit it's a printable so that you can get some of these um, it's a mega kit so it's going to have a bunch of inserts um, that you can print out so that is actually in the shop now because I, I wanted to have my own inserts for this planner instead of buying them I you know just resize what I have and made it for that size so that will be linked down below um, but what I decided to do since this worked out for me and I'm, this is not done at all I'm going to be switching from my B6 Traveler's Notebook into the um, what do you call this we'll just say personal now it's actually the same height as my B6 and almost the same width but the inserts are let's see I'm gonna move this over so you can see about how much maybe an inch before the tabs um, thinner you can actually make this into let me see I'm looking at the sizes they won't be exact but you can actually extend the width of this so if I don't actually make a kit with that you know a wider version because I do carry wide inserts then you can actually do that in the um, in Photoshop I don't know if you can yeah you could probably do it in um, uh, whatever programs <laughs> I can't think so yeah if you need it wider you can extend these and just stretch them out in your computer and then print them out and you would have about the same size so um, I just wanted to be using this so that I can share you know because I do sell these kind of things and I think that when you sell something you should also use it to show people okay so um, aside from that this size rings actually fit store-bought planners and I'm going to show you because I have this here from the paper studio it doesn't say what size but I found this on clearance at Hobby Lobby so I think it's just a regular personal size it just says the name of it personal clear pouch so it's 3.69 by 6.96 um, it's just like a hair taller but it will work because I was kind of comparing the holes on here I don't know if I'll use this because the theme doesn't seem to go, but then again, this is kind of a mixed theme. I'll show you the paper pad in a second. So let's just put this in here and see. So it looks like it will fit. Oh yeah, so sweet. So if you have, you know, if you want to get more inserts for these rings, if you buy one from me, or if you just want to buy the planner and then use my inserts in there, you can from get them from the stores and that does work perfectly actually so it's only like a hair taller oh awesome I wish I had this in different designs so but again I probably won't be using it because it doesn't go with my theme and I'm going to show you the paper pad that I use for this aside from my inserts that are in the shop I use the kawaii dream from Michaels it's one of the hot, hot buy pads to Recollections Brands. Let's um, try to keep things a little organized here. And in my shop, I have these tabs that are actually free. It comes with this shape and just plain, um, plain tabs, but they're not titled. There's no titles on there, blank. You put the titles on there yourself. So that's a freebie that I have in the shop. And I went with these scallop tabs this time. And in my Photoshop, I use that like Ray Dunn look-alike text on there or type. I'm like trying to. Um, so they're like clamshells. You just close them and then put it on on top of your dividers. So, but like I said, they're a little bit too big. You resize these to whatever size you need. I resized it, but I still felt like I could have gone down a little bit more. Um, but it was already too late I had done it you know and, and laminated everything and put it in and I was like done but for me it's okay because once you know I put in like a pen or something the elastic will actually sit on the pen and you know it'll be fine so I did go with a pink elastic um, I'm gonna be searching for like some fun elastic for straps like iridescent or something and see if 
they have that. But let's just get started. I am not at all done with this, but I just wanted to show you and let you know, you know, what's coming and what I have currently in the shop. Um, so I'm going to be working on a couple of new rings. I'm going to add this to my um, create a planner section of the shop and my Facebook group. So um, I do have a Facebook group for the shop. So if you want to check that out, that is always linked down below. Let's get started. So here's the first um, divider. And I actually, on this one and all these tabs, I bought back my <laughs> um, deco color paint marker. And, you know, you have to shake it up like a paint can. And then I just edged that. And only on this first one I used it. And I just used the silver. I'm mixing the metals in here, but I did just use silver on here. And then this one here is also a pocket. So I'm going to be tucking some stuff in. Like I was going to put like maybe this. Let's just take this out. This Somebody gifted me this because there's no Daiso here. So thank you very much. This is from Daiso. And I haven't used it yet, but this would be a great part, place to just put in a whole thing of sticky notes. That's one place. I'm going to take it out because I think I want to put it in a different spot. So um, before I continue, I should have explained this earlier. Let me have some water. I'm like all over the place. Mm. Okay. So like I said, I am moving out of this one into this. And since I have my little guy here, which I have been using and taking with me, um, this one has the months and the weekly oh, fuzzies. Um, what do I have in here? I got shopping list, which I use because I shop every day at the grocery stores and any other place. Notes I also use. Um, monthly and weekly I use. And then the personal. So I designed it or you know made sections for something that I know that I would use daily. Um, and again, using the inserts that are in my shop. So I'm not going to be using anything else but my own now. Even the, like the weekly. So yeah, I'm enjoying this one. I take it with me. I don't take it with me every single day, but I do take it with me often. And for this one here, I'm like, I decided not to do two monthlies and weeklies one here and one in the other one so i'm um, eliminating that and then i have my list and i forgot what i have back here to buy list and to do list so what i've done is i rethought everything and decided okay this is what i want to have now just a notes section and this is all kinds of notes i can this is the cover pages too. You get cover pages or, yeah, covers. I have them blank in the listing. You put in whatever you want to put in there in whatever text you want. But this is the notes section. And um, normally I would have printed on this side too, but I forgot to print. I only printed the inside. Usually I only do this blank sheet when it comes to the monthly and the weekly. But anyway, it's blank so I can title whatever the notes are if I wanted to but I did put quite a bit in here again this is from those mega kits and that's the back of that cover um, so notes for everything for the shop for daily stuff here's another one all the tabs are made with the paper from that paper collection so this one's ideas and I'm constantly constantly thinking up of things and I have to write them down so all kinds of ideas whether it be shop or swaps or whatever um, projects so that's that and they are double sided like I said they're like clamshells so I did print on both sides so that whichever way I have this open I'll see what it is now this is just a plain divider there's no pockets okay so see this one I have is so that I start off as soon as I open that first page and then I put quite a bit in here because I do have a lot of ideas <laughs> so with this one I decided to try a different kind of pocket just like a side loading pocket here <clears throat> this is the swaps divider and again I think this is maybe where I'll stick my sticky notes but we'll see so all it is is you cut your paper um, bigger than your size that you need and then fold over you know and see how much you want this is about half maybe 
laminate it and then just use a blade to slice that open i've m done many pockets and folders this way so and i love this paper it's got foiling on there too so this is the swap section and i need to fill this now because i have one coming up for april and i'm actually going to write the group swap in here just to keep track of the swap that i had already done and i didn't put too many sheets in here because i don't do too many swaps so you don't have to print that's the good thing about this you don't have to you print however many you want if you only want to print two sheets then that's all you have to do is print two sheets so then here i did use this sushi sheet because i do love sushi of certain kinds not all of them and at the supermarket i work for they have sushi wednesday which all their sushi which is normally six and up um, is only five bucks so I did put that in here and this is the holiday list section this one I made just a straight pocket here straight pocket and I, I called it the holiday list now they come like this labeled on the top but because you know we like to as crafters if we're doing swaps or gifts and stuff we do um, gift for all the holidays not just Christmas so that's why it's, it's a holiday list and again I put that in there so then I didn't put too, too many in here because they are double-sided and I'm not always sending out stuff. So then this one here, I have my pocket going this way, which I think, oh yeah, it's open. Um, I thought I left it, but look at the cute little doggy. It's so cute. I think it's a corgi. This is the password section. So I have been moving around this little password book for shops. And I decided to, whoops, make it a little more permanent. Not that it matters if you see that password, but um, it's just also that, you know, the lines are so small, you got to write little. But this is from a pocket traveler's notebook. So, um, yeah, I don't have that many in here, so I didn't print that many out. But at least now I will... Um, have you know more space for this so bigger writing that's what that looks like and that's pretty much all the inserts that I'm going to keep for now until you know I need if I need something else I'll know as I use this um, as you can see it's pretty narrow right now but like I said I'm nowhere near done I've also printed and laminated a few things from different places like these here this mug here is actually my design. I just added the flower that comes from some digital kit I bought. I don't remember where. So, because these are also mine too, all of these. And I gotta say, um, if you watched my very last video with the group swap that I did, you might have heard me say like somewhere in the middle that I had some issues with my mink and ended up, I returned it today, I sent it out. Um, but this morning I ordered another one this time from walmart.com and about the same price 60 something dollars and it's going to be here in two days so if that one gives me a problem then I'm just going to give up the whole mink thing and forget the foiling because I don't like the way the foiling comes out with a regular laminator <laughs> so yeah I'm about that close to just saying you know I'm not going to say it but <laughs> Anyway, so these little images here, I'm going to tell you where they're from. They are from an Etsy shop. And let's see. I have it open. And the Etsy shop is called Tinker and Co. Digital. I may have that linked below. I'll check. The name of the kit is called Little Tinkers Dress Up. And it's just these kids, these little girls that, where'd my screen go? It's almost birthday themed as well, but you know, we could have balloons throughout the year. So one of them is just dressed in a normal little girl's outfit. One of them is in a unicorn outfit and the other one is in a mermaid outfit. And it's in these light, pretty colors. I love it. So um, it comes with several things. This one is separate, but from the same um, shop. So then we have, I only printed these. this girl here, which is back in front. So here's the front in her little unicorn outfit. Um, and then here's her back. Isn't that adorable? And I made them quite big because it's going to be a big, you know, this is a nice size planner. And I'm just going to tuck them here and there. And then these are from the same 
um, shop. I don't think it's from here. I think it's just called Cupcakes or something. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. I think it's just called Cupcakes. It doesn't say anything else other than that, but it's from the same shop. Um, and it comes with the horn and, oops, I think it has the mermaid tail. Mermaid tail and the balloons. Actually, it has the same balloons that are in here. And then it has the mermaid tail and the horn. And this is the same horn that's here. But I think this kit is sold separately, if I'm not mistaken. So what I did is I just printed out smaller too, because I'm going to put these on a paper clip and put them back to back on a small paper clip so that I could just tuck it in my planner. So these are so adorable. And that's just a couple of the images that's there. And then, you know, I'm going to finish this up. I think what I'm going to do, I don't know if I was going to use this or not, or just break out one of my other pens. But, you know, I was seeing what pens to use. And I don't want to really stick anything like this on here. I prefer those other ones like I have on here, which is see-through. Um, but we'll see. And then I took out this from Hobby Lobby, which might go in one of the pages. I'm going to be cutting out more stuff to put in here. And then I broke this out because this is another thing that I might have put there. But this is currently at Michael's. And it's got the hollow. That's kind of why I went with silver. So anyway, <laughs> I know I'm all over the place. So again, I'll try to remember to link this below. I already have these rings linked below so actually just check that out because and then when you go to the to it you can change the options of the sizes so but just be careful again that you don't get <laughs> the wrong one so I'm gonna see if I could just find somebody else and get the right size because I really want to still get the agenda size which um, is considered an A6 on this thing so we'll see it's kind of like I think it's like a little bit I don't know wider this way I don't know how much taller Whew. okay so I think that's it so thank you all for watching oh where's my mouse and I will see you guys next time bye now